how to draw an improper fraction or a fraction greater than one on a number line. This time we're not using grid paper, we're back to blank paper, or if you have a whiteboard. So we're gonna draw our line again and then draw our tick marks. So our first endpoint is zero, our second endpoint is four because we need seven thirds. So with our four holes this time, in the middle is gonna represent two, and then when you partition each side in half, that first tick mark on the left will be one hole and the tick mark on the right would be three holes. Then we're going to partition each hole into thirds and we're going to go from zero all the way to seven thirds. So you can have your students count with you, zero, one third, two thirds, three thirds, which is the same as one hole, four thirds, five thirds, two, which is six thirds, and then seven thirds, and then go back and label them. Now we'll represent 10 eighths. So since it's a fraction that's larger than one hole, we know we need at least two holes. So we're gonna partition our line into two holes. So zero is the first endpoint, two is the second endpoint, and then in the middle, instead of it being a half, it's gonna be one hole. Then we're going to partition each hole, each side, into eighths. You can start by partitioning it in half, then into fourths, then into eighths. And then we're just gonna count out to 10 eighths. And then go back and label them. Again, you can label or have your students label the entire number line, all the tick marks, or just the point to represent the given fraction. 